主日崇拜，自己要开始，请准备咱的心灵。Let us prepare our hearts to worship our Lord as we are about to start our Sunday worship service. 请起立 ，Please stand. 上主点点心点着，全队的人着烧香，地主。愿上帝怜悯咱，赐福予咱，用民间照咱，通予世界知影你的道路，万国得知影你的救恩。上帝啊，愿列邦俄罗斯，愿万国拢俄罗斯，愿万国拢快乐欢呼，因为你的确照着公义审判万民，引出世界的万国。上帝啊，愿列邦俄罗斯，愿万民拢俄罗斯。对，已经出了土山，上帝就是咱的上帝，要祝福荷兰。上帝要祝福荷兰，对的世界拢要敬畏。May God be gracious to us and bless us and make His face shine upon us. That you that your ways may be known on earth, your salvation among all nations. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. May the nations be glad and sing for joy, for you rule the peoples justly and guide the nations of the earth. May the peoples praise you, O God. May all the peoples praise you. Then the land will yield its harvest. And God, our God, will bless us. God will bless us, and all the ends of the earth will fear Him. Shall we remain standing? Then you want kirip at how sagot kito? Let's all bow our heads for the opening prayer. Gune unsu gune timpe siyonte. To sa di e untien kap di e tiyang tang. Kung 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 唱出诗歌，俄罗斯的名，甲听你的分数。爸啊，多谢你过去的一礼拜的引导，甲看顾，保守阮即群的兄弟姊妹，身体健康，心灵活泼。今仔日又完，我能看到各位的主来兄弟姊妹，一撮来敬拜你，也有可能互阮通有一个好的交通甲团结。主啊，阮虽然实在是艰苦安生，规日钱托几年嘅所在，伊也有大地震，人真正着惊，真侪丧失生命，真侪损失。主啊，实在阮唔知影虾米时阵做代志会发生，但是阮知影嘅，要来嘅日子将近咯，阮要好好做一个准备，将你嘅福音传出去。阮伫即搭啊，就是一直要继续仰望你，将阮头前的道路，一日一日完全的交托予你，求你继续引导。主啊，阮知影你的听是无限，求你继续教阮伫你的话语内面扎根，做做基督，做做灵修，求你做阮生命的好牧者。天伯啊，求你即时安静阮的心灵。予阮有一个内内的气，无受啊搅扰，啊无听来注意听你话语，求你圣灵先生运行，踮伫阮大家人个中间。同款啊，求你对顶面来会开力，舒服阮个感官，但平安无事。我能将你话语传讲出去，同时也想舒服呢。翻译员可能接受，可以底下有法能够啊，交起开力，将你的话语同工一连分享出去。啊，阮将啊，我讲讲，阮的敬拜底下实在是亲像香祭来献乎你。Our gracious Father, thank you for your love and blessings that we are once again、um, here together to worship you. We can also sing praise and give glory to your name and listen to your words, Father. 
Thank you for the past one week of mercy, love, and guidance to all your children. Once again, we can see them face to face, worship together, and have fellowship with one another. Lord, we really would not know what things will happen or when things will happen. A few days ago, a big quake struck Turkey and nearby country, leaving a lot of damages and deaths. People were so afraid. We cannot really know when and where calamities will come. Only God knows. But one thing for sure, your next coming is so near. We have to be prepared. Teach us to spread your words aggressively. As we continue to trust in you, we just would like to live one day at a time and entrust to you all our pathways. Please teach us to grow deeper in your words, for we know your love for us is endless. Teach us to pray and pray and deeply rooted in your words. Please be our shepherd for life. Lord God, please quiet down ourselves and provide us with a listening ear to pay attentively to what our speaker is about to share. Teach us to aggressively listen to your words, to eagerly listen to your words, and may the Holy Spirit work in all of us. Also, please bless our speaker this morning, Reverend John Ong. You seem mightily to reveal your words. At the same time, bless our translator, Deaconess Patti C., so that they can work hand in hand in revealing to us your message. May our worship be pleasing to your name and give glory to your name. This we pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Siate, please be seated. Channels only. Jesus, feel now my spirit, heart full of surrender, a stream of living water from our inner man may flow. I know his mind.
So that means in Fuzhong, I hope, the lily of the valley. That means we have been ill, it's in team bit. So she done it too, yeah, so. Then again, the eight daddy ham moon, then now the sunset in moon. Next, we'll have our verse of the month. It's written in 1st John, uh, chapter 4, verse 16. Uh, we'll read first twice in Chinese and then in English. Yokhan isu si chiu zap lak zat Xiong te jiu si tiang Diam di tiang lai bin eh Jiu si diam di xiong te lai bin Xiong te ya diam di iye lai bin Ko ji pian ha Yokhan isu te si te si chiu zap lak zat Xiong te jiu si tiang Diam di tiang lai bin eh Jiu si diam di xiong te lai bin Xiong te ya diam di iye lai bin 
Then now, Kaloki, Chanan, Taike Kiris, shall we all stand as we read the team passage for this morning? Nami ayat haknane, kinade, sinsek yang bun, kicai ti, mahai, hok im, te sa chiu, chap lak, kawakau, chap chit chat. Our team passage for this morning is written in Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. I will first read in Chinese. Matai hok im, te sa chiu, chap lak, kawakau, chap chit chat. Ya so siu diao sui, sui si tui chi, lai bine ki lai. Matthew chapter 3, verse 16 to 17. And when Jesus was baptized, immediately he went up from the water, and behold, the heavens were opened to him. And he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and coming to rest on him. And behold, a voice from heaven said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Please be seated, Chate. Yeah. 
咱今仔真正影响，我人得教谈天安牧师伫咧当中来讲道。当时咱就请蔡普林执事来为伊翻译。伊今仔日对牧师热情，会互上帝喜悦。We are so honored this morning to have our guest speaker, Reverend John Ong, in our midst. At the same time, we have requested the deaconess Patisi to translate for him. The topic this morning is please the Lord passionately. Good morning, brothers and sisters in Christ. It is a great joy to see all of you on this beautiful Sunday morning. Thank God that we can come together as one in praising and worshiping our wonderful God. Today, we will continue to speak on how we can demonstrate or express our love to God. Before that, let us review what we have learned four weeks ago. Last month, we asked a very tough question. What should we do this year? It's a very important question. Because there are many things that we need to do. But what is that one thing that we need to do this year? In Matthew 22, verses 34 to 37, Jesus told us the greatest commandment. He said that we are to love the Lord with all our heart, with all our soul, and with all our mind. Since this is the greatest commandment, the one thing that we need to do this year is to love the Lord our God with all our heart, all our soul, and with all our mind. Brothers and sisters, we need to remember that we who believe in Jesus Christ should be lover of God. We are not only to believe in God. We are to love Him. The God we believe is one and only true God. There are no other gods beside Him. He is a compassionate God. He is a faithful God. He is gracious and merciful. He is just. He is love. Let us love him. We are to love him with everything. We are to love him with our entire being. We are to love him with our entire life. So how do we love our God? Who created us and saved us from the penalty of sin? How do we love him? 
we obey him wholeheartedly. Jesus says in John chapter 14, verse 21, Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my father and I too will love him and show myself to him. Here, Jesus told us that to love him is to obey him. Remember this. Selective obedience. Partial obedience. Inconsistent obedience. In the eyes of God. Is disobedience. Let us not obey God selectively. Let us not obey God inconsistently. Let us obey God completely. Let us obey God continually. Let's look at Acts chapter 13. Verse 22. Here it says, After remo removing Saul, he made David their king. God testified concerning him. I have found David, son of Jesse, a man after my own heart. He will do everything I want him to do. Ita ani kong ki dien hui diao so lo ju suan di tai pi zui in e ong ke wui yi zui gen jian gong guo che diao hi ya se e kia tai pi yi si hap guo sim yi e lang huan su be zun kia guo e zi yi. God described David as a man after his own heart. Shong te hien yong tai pi kyo zui zi ge hap yi sim yi e lang why did God consider David after his own heart? Let's look at the last part. God says, He will do everything I want him to do. Whatever I told him to do, he will do it. Indeed, David wholeheartedly obeyed the Lord. May God also will say to you and to me, My son, my daughter, you are a man or a woman. After my own heart. May all of us have this kind of prayer before we read the Bible. May you have this kind of prayer before coming in to our worship service. What's that prayer? Lord, speak to me. What, what you want me to do, I will respond to you. Did you pray this prayer before you come in? I do pray, pray and hope that every week when you come to our worship service, this is your prayer. Lord, speak to me. Let us pray. 
What you want me to do? I will respond to you. So not only that we we are so blessed by the messages that we hear every Sunday. But we are ready to do it in our daily lives. So the first way to express, to let God know that we love Him is to obey the Lord wholeheartedly. So what is the second way that we could demonstrate our love to God? And this morning, i like to remind you that another way to let God know that we love Him is to please Him Passionately. Every day in our life, we are eager to make God happy. It is an all out. It's very, we are enthusiastic. To please the Lord. Let's look at two passages. The first one, uh, our deacon have just read a while ago, that's found in Matthew chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. Let us read this together again. Ready? Read. As soon as Jesus was baptized, he went up out of the water. At that moment, heaven was open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove. And, and a voice from heaven said, This is my Son, in whom I love. With him I am well Please. After Jesus was baptized, what did God say to him? Let's say this together. Ready, go. This is my son in whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Let's look at Matthew chapter 17. Verses 4 and 5. Again, let's read this together. Peter said to Jesus, Lord, it is good for us to be here. I, I will put up three shelters, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, a bright cloud covered them, and a voice from the cloud said, This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. Listen to him. What did God say? Let's say it together. Ready, go. This, this is, is my, my son, son whom, whom I, love. I love. With, With him, him I am well pleased. Listen. 
这是我的听见，我所喜的地。What was repeated twice in these two passages? 在这两节的经文里面，什么是讲两相反的讲两篇 ？Let's say this. Let's read it together. This is my son, whom I love. With him I am well pleased. 这是我的听见，我所喜的地。God, the first time God said this, it was after Jesus' baptism. 头一摆，上帝阿哩对耶稣讲是当对拄拄好耶稣在水里了哩。God was so pleased when Jesus Christ was baptized. 上帝对耶稣受洗以后，一心正，一心欢喜。But I am sure that before Jesus was was baptized, God was already very very happy with Jesus Christ. 就是我确定，我当讲说，伫耶稣被受洗以前，上帝已经是对耶稣真满意了。I am sure when Jesus Christ was a young man. 我相信，当耶耶稣是一个青年人的时阵。When he was a young adult, 当伊是伫遐啊，当咧啊青年的时阵 ，he had made God happy. 伊已经和上帝喜悦了。That was before Jesus did his public ministry. 这个是当耶稣正式伫遐啊来啊做伊的工作的时阵。After the baptism, 洗礼以后。Jesus started his public ministry. Jesus 就开始伊个工作。And one day, when he and the three disciples of Jesus Christ were on top of the mountain, 有一日，耶稣甲彼三个门徒伫山顶个时阵 ，God again let Peter, James, and John knew that God was pleased with. Jesus Christ. 上帝各一摆，互跩三个门徒知影共识，伊真喜爱耶稣。That means when Jesus Christ was doing his public ministry, like teaching, preaching, healing, and so forth and so on, God was pleased with Jesus. 所以意思就是讲，伫耶稣开始在世的工作的时阵，伫遐咧教导，伫遐咧传道，伫遐咧医治人的时阵，上帝已经对伊所做一切满有喜悦了。Jesus was not yet arrested. 迄时阵，耶稣也阁未受掠。He was not yet crucified on the cross. 伊也阁未钉死，就是离开钉。Not yet risen from the dead. 伊也个被被对死来起来，我个话。But God said, 总是上帝讲讲。This is my son. 这是我的听见。Whom I love. 我所喜悦的。With him I am well pleased. 我所喜悦的。I am sure Jesus did many things that made God happy. 我相信，耶稣最近做项代志，让耶上帝欢喜。And one of the many things that he had, that he did while he was here on earth, is that he had an intimate relationship with God. 其中一项代志，让上帝喜悦的，当耶稣在世时阵，就是伊甲上帝有密切的关系。Again. Jesus did many things that pleased God. Jesus 最近做代志，让上帝喜悦。But his close relationship with God while he was here on earth made God very, very happy. 总是伊在世，甲上帝有真密切的关系，让上帝真喜悦。That's why God said, "I love him." I am very pleased with him. So, God said, "I am very pleased with him. I 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 am very pleased with him
This happened also in husband and wife relationship. When the couple had an intimate relationship with one another. I'm sure the wife will say, I love him. I work pleased with him. The same thing with the husband. He will say to his wife, I love her. I had an intimate relationship with her. Same thing with parents and children's relationship. So, when we are very close to one another, then we really are pleased with each other. So, this morning, we like to discover why is it that Jesus, while he was here on earth, had an intimate relationship with God. Jesus did a lot of things. But today, I just like to remind you one thing. That is, Jesus practiced spiritual habits or he practiced spiritual disciplines. He practiced these spiritual habits that caused him and God to be very close. If we, like Jesus, practice spiritual habits or disciplines, you and I will also have an intimate relationship with God. So many Christians feel that God is far, far away from them. This Christian said, isn't it that if we receive Christ as our Savior and Lord, He is with us. But how come seemingly God is far, far away from us? Something is missing from these Christians. Christians forget to practice spiritual habits. To make them closer to God. So if we practice these habits, it will cause us to be very, very close to Him. And we can personally testify that God is real. That God is present. That God is amazing. Let's practice spiritual habits. This morning, we will just focus on three habits that Jesus practiced. These three habits are foundational. There are many more habits, but this morning we will just focus on three. The first is his 
prayer life. 头一点就是讲到耶稣基督的生活。The four gospels of the New Testament made it clear that Jesus is a man of prayer. 新约嘅四福音真清楚，让人看见教说耶稣是一个基督嘅耶稣。The four gospels let us know that Jesus spent a lot of time in prayer. 四福音内面，咱会看见到耶稣用真多嘅时间来祈祷。He started his public ministry with prayer. 伊一边开始出来，呃，释放的最主要工作的时阵，伊大声祈祷。He ended his public ministry with prayer. 当伊结束伊在世的释放的时阵，伊上款的是用祈祷来结束。Jesus reflected this prayer life as his priority in life. 那你看到讲说，在耶稣的生平内面。基督是优先的，伊将这个看做第一重要。Jesus established a regular time and place to pray. 耶稣设立了一个固定的时间甲地点来祈祷。Jesus prayed both when he was alone and with his disciples. 耶稣唔单啊家己嘅时阵祈祷，伊上款甲门徒做一下时阵祈祷。Jesus prayed before he made important decisions。耶稣伫做出重要决定嘅时阵，以前伊用时间来祈祷。Indeed, Jesus was a man of prayer。确实的，耶稣是一个祈祷嘅人。He modeled to us a life of prayer. He did here, how long can we get to do the same work? We do heard someone said like this. Ulang ani kong. More prayer, more power. 最基督最有能力。Less prayer, less power. 少基督就少有能力。No prayer, no power. 无基督就无能力。This is true. 这个是真实的。Especially in our daily life. 特别是在咱日常的生活中。In our ministry. 在咱的侍奉的层面。More prayer, the more power we have from the Lord. 最最基督对上帝来就得到最最的能力。No prayer, no power. 当咱无基督的时阵，咱就无能力。But remember this. 总是得到爱基督。It is also true. That more prayer, intimate relationship with God. 上款呢，就是讲说，你做基督的时阵，你就是甲上帝那个个亲近。Less prayer, only good relationship. 你那做基督，肯定有一个好的关系。But no prayer. 总是当你无基督的时阵。Poor relationship with God. 你甲上帝关系就无好。Prayer. Not only helps us in our ministry. 基督唔单单伫咱嘅侍奉嘅工作层面帮助人。Prayer not only helps us in our daily life. 唔单单伫咱日常嘅生活顶帮助人。Prayer helps us to build an intimate relationship with God. 基督帮助咱甲上帝有建立一个亲密嘅关系。Prayer. It's like talking to God. Kito 就是看咱亲像甲上帝咧沟通咧讲话。Jesus talked to God through prayer. 耶稣就是借着基督甲上帝讲话。In his ministry, he took time to talk to God. 在伊个侍奉顶面，伊用时间来甲上帝讲话。When he was tired. He talked to God. 当伊亚线的时阵，伊向上帝讲话。When he lived a very difficult life, he talked to God. 当伊生活顶有问题时阵，伊向上帝讲话。God was so happy with him. 上帝实在是呃真喜悦耶稣。My dear brothers and sisters in Christ. 主来的兄弟姊妹。How is your prayer life? Is your prayer life weak? 
Or your prayer life is strong like Jesus. Evaluate your prayer life right now. Do I have a weak or a strong prayer life? If you have a weak prayer life, confess to God. And commit, commit to spend more time with God through prayer. Make sure that after this morning's worship service, your life will be a little bit different from before. And that, that means that your prayer life improves Isus, after this worship service. Spend time talking to God. Let me suggest to you one pattern that you could use in terms of talking to God. As you spend three or five minutes in your prayer, include these four elements. Starts with letter P. As you start your prayer, praise and thank God. You can praise God uh, by, by using the English alphabet. Let's say tomorrow you will start your prayer time. Think of letter A that describes God. What is that one word that starts with letter A that honors and glorifies God? Any word? Amazing. Awesome. Awesome. Almighty. 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 Amazing. Amazing. So, tomorrow, pray, praise God, Lord, you are so amazing. So, I did it to you, and I like, oh, no, so, that's it. Just acknowledge that he is amazing God. Then thank him. Thank him. One or two things that you like to thank him that day. Or we may thank him what he had done to us the day before. Thank him. So letter P, praise and thank God. So P Then the next point, letter R. So R. Repent. If you have sinned against God that day, confess your sins before Him. Ask for His forgiveness. That's it. Ask for forgiveness. Then letter A. Ask. Ask. Uh, Ask God to bless people. 
Monday, you can ask God to bless your parents. Or on Monday, you ask God to bless your husband or wife. Tuesday, you ask God to bless your children. Or you ask God to bless your brothers and sisters. And then Wednesday, you can ask God to bless your relatives. And so forth and so on. So every day you have some people to pray for. So And for example, somebody texted you, called you, and say, please pray for so and so. Then pray for him and then we have letter p praise and thank god letter r repent letter a ask god to bless others and letter y yourself so i nan kwa thao ji khang chu si ki o lo shong te kam sha shong te then ao din zui Pray for yourself. No problem to pray for yourself. God wants us to come to Him to ask Him our need, to help us our needs. So, when you spend few minutes to pray, try this pattern. But your prayer is not limited to these few minutes. Wherever you are, whatever you are doing, you can keep on praying to God. While you are driving, you can pray to God. But please don't close your eyes. Pray from your heart. Make prayer be part of your daily life. Practice this very important spiritual habit. Jesus modeled to us his prayer life. Let us follow him. Another spiritual habit that Jesus practiced is the word-centered life. The word of God was central in Jesus' life. At that time, there is no New Testament. The Old Testament existed. And Jesus spent time reading the Old Testament Bible. So Jesus studied, memorized, lived, and obeyed God's word. So Jesus Jesus used God's word to resist the devil. And Jesus used God's word to teach, to encourage, and to correct people. So Jesus knew the word of God. 
Shong ya so tin bien piak shong te we gu. And he used it as he encountered the everyday issues of life. I tu in shong te we gu lai a tui hu i tak dip so tu tioe bun tue tai chi. Brothers and sisters, let us follow the footstep of Jesus. He spent time reading and studying the Word of God. Yes, Jesus was God became man. But when he was man, he read and studied the word of God. As children of God, let us read and study the word of God. In prayer, we talk to God. In reading the Bible, we are listening to God. And that is what we call communication. When there is communication, relationship is Wonderfully established. Just imagine a couple. The wife keeps on talking. Talk, talk, talk. And the husband just keep on listening. The wife talk. The husband listen. The wife talk. The husband listen. That's it. Is that a good relationship? No. Wife talk. Husband listen. Husband talk. Wife listen. There should be a talk, listen, talk, listen kind of atmosphere in the family. Do you notice why a couple or, or a young man and young woman are closer to each other. It's because of talking and listening. They keep on communicating with one another. So they become closer. So into the this is true in our relationship with God. When there is talking and listening, then there is close relationship with one another. When we read, when we listen to the word of God, that is God is talking to us. When we pray to God, we are talking to God. And when we spend time talking and listening, then we will have an intimate relationship with God. How is your listening to God? Do you read the Bible every day? Do you come to church regularly? 
Every Sunday, we read the Bible and the pastor helped us to understand the Word of God. So, come to church regularly. Never give up meeting together. Using the word of God, encouraging one another. Every day, read God's word. Then, you will know the plan of God. The will of God. The promises of God. The commands of God. And as you practice all these things in your life, then you will be very close to God. Finally, the third spiritual habit that Jesus practiced as we discover it from the four Gospels is that he lived a God-exalting life. Jesus gave the Father credit for everything he did and received. Jesus exalted the Father through his words and actions. And Jesus honored the Father's will even when it was very Difficult. Constantly, Jesus gave credit to God. It is, this is because of God the Father. It was God the Father who blessed me. It was the God the Father who helped me. And he lived a life that is pleasing to God. His words that were spoken. Honor God. His actions while he was here on earth. Honor God. His life is to exalt God in his life. Is this your goal in life? That you are going to exalt God with your life. Are you glorifying God with your words? As you talk to somebody, are your words honoring God? What about your actions? What about what you are doing? In your daily life. Do they honor God? Or your words and actions are just like the words and actions of an unbeliever. Yes, no difference. I pray. That after this morning's worship service, your life will be different. 
That you will commit to God that whatever I say, whatever I do, will honor and glorify your name. Whoever sees me, whoever hears my words, will say, that you are a believer of Jesus Christ. That you are a lover of Christ. God was so pleased with the life of Jesus. Because Jesus practiced spiritual habits. In we shong ya so ti ya sit hiang shok diang esip kwan. God was so happy with him. So he did yo shong te hiep. Because they are so close. Ho in we in utige tin tin bit e kwan he. And Jesus constantly exalted him. In we ya so ti ya tak pai long ko ku shong te. May we be like Jesus. Emang nan uhat tang hao huat ya so. So this is how we show our love to God. How do we show our love to God? By the way, let me remind this. Let me remind all of you. Know, spiritual habit is not an end itself. It is a means to an end. When you practice prayer life in your life, it is not for you to report to our pastor you to report to our pastor I prayed. I read the Bible. I gave a good testimony. It is more than that. It is more than reporting it to your leaders. Why do we pray? Read the Bible. Exalt God. With one ultimate purpose. And that is to have an intimate relationship with God. It is true spiritual habits that we can draw closer to God. So let us love the Lord our God with all our heart, with all our mind, and with all our soul. So How do we do that? Let us obey the Lord wholeheartedly. Let us please the Lord. Passionately. And the Lord will say to all of us, You are a man and woman after my own heart. You are a son, a woman I love. In whom I am well pleased. Uh, let's pray Father thank you so much for this morning's message for reminding us again and again that we are to love you and the way that we could express our love is to obey you wholeheartedly and to practice spiritual discipline passionately to the point that we please you every day of our life. So Lord, I pray that we will indeed be a very good follower of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
，咱这是要参加金，靠住金天，靠住真甜。For song of response, we will sing peace so sweet to trust in Jesus. 请大家起立 ，Everybody, please rise. 那么唱汉文第一、第二、三，然后英文第三、第四。愿耶和华赐福给恁，看顾恁；愿耶和华的平安照恁，赐恩给恁；愿耶和华向恁用命，赐恁平安。The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. From this day on, until the second coming of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, Amen. Ooh.